What's up guys, I'm Black Vega. Welcome back to the Next Chef Network channel. Uh, now, as you can see, I don't got my dad or brother with me today. This is going to be a solo part. But in today's video, I'm going to be trying out Cookie Crumble for the first time. Now, I got three of the cookies. One is, let me show you. One is called, I think it's Sweet. It's like a mild sweet chocolate chunk cookie. And I got the churro cookie right here. Honestly, it looks great. Then I got the. Oh, this is a little messy. Alright, this one is the strawberry shortcake cookie. Now I got the smaller ones because remember, we be trying it. It's going to be like a whole meal. Man, I'm honestly excited to try these because I'm excited to try this. And right, we'll see, we'll see how he tastes. So this is the mild sweet or yeah, I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it got salt on it. It got chunks of chocolate, so let's see. I actually like this. When I said this, when I said this is not too sweet, it really is not too sweet. Mm -hmm. and you got that little bit of saltiness from the salt, not too much in the break. Yeah, but this this is really good. Regular chocolate chip cookie. With like some um, a little saltiness to it. Next, I'm expecting this to be a not too long video, but next is the churro. Let's see, yep. We got the sugar, cinnamon too, and this frosting on it. Pretty good. Oh my goodness. Oh, this, this is good. I think I have some milk with this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> not too much sugar, not too much cinnamon, just right. The frosting is not overbearing, it's just right. All right. <laughs> Mm. This is good. I recommend if you get some uh, cookie crumble, get this cookie right here because this is this is good. Now this last one, the uh, shortcake, strawberry shortcake one. I mean, I really don't know. I'm, I'm looking at it. It's like the way it just bends and everything. I don't know if it's like they cook or not, but it smells great. Fantastic. Let's, let's, let's uh, look cool. Yeah. can see it actually got actual chunks actual chunks of strawberry in there that's good a little 
see. I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be gonna be good. It's gonna be like an all right. You know? I already don't expect this to blow me away like the, the other one, the churro. I was right at the part about about not blowing me away. This, this is all right. I'll give it. I'll give it a out of out of ten. I'll give it a probably five. Like. Like, this just feels like an underbaked cookie. The, uh, I'm guessing this is like strawberry jam. It's good. It tastes like real strawberries. Now the frosting, though, I could say it could do without the frosting. You really don't need really need frosting with this one. Yes, all right. It's really it just squashes in your mouth too. The the, the cookie itself. Yeah, it just tastes like an underbaked cookie with not really needed frosting. Honestly, if I, I would have kept the strawberry uh, strawberry jam and the frosting not needed, cook the cookie a little bit more, and you got yourself a hit. Now I'm gonna continue to eat this because we don't waste around here. Yeah. Alright, so that was all the cookies right there. Uh, now I'm going to grade it on a 10 point scale. First up being the semi sweet chocolate chocolate. Yeah, there we go. I remember the name. I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. It wasn't too sweet, like I said, and the the uh, the salt they didn't put too much. It gave that nice sweet and salty taste. The chocolate was not overbearing. It was great. It tasted good. And then the churro cookie. I'll give that a. I'll give it an 8. Mm -hmm. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Definitely. It wasn't too sweet. It wasn't overbearing on the cinnamon or the sugar at all. The frosting was great. It tasted good. The cookie was fully cooked. Execution perfect. I'll, I definitely like that churro. If I could hear it again, I would. But the last one, the strawberry shortcake one, but yet again, I'm giving out a 5 out of 7. To me, it just felt like the cookie really wasn't. Like, I don't know it's supposed to be like that way, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I accept that. I'm not a know it all. If I'm wrong about this, I'm wrong. To me, 
If it's not supposed to be like that, then yeah, the cookie was undercooked. And I really didn't see no need for the frosting either. Not the frosting, the uh, whipped cream at all. It just would have been, it would have been fine if they had just put the strawberry jam on there and there we go. But yeah, that one, uh, yeah, I didn't really, nah, I'm not a fan of that. But yeah, this is the end of this good old cookie review. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see y'all in the next video. Black Vega, out.